How to put on a kimono by yourself. Hi, Billy Days. What to prepare? Kimono. Nadajuban. Obi. Obi shime. Obi yage. Tabi. Obi makura. Date jime. Two piece. Strings, ties, and stockings can be substituted. Five piece. Clip A clothespin can be used. Put on tabi. Fold the tabi in half to make it easier to put on. Put your foot in and pull the dough toward you smoothly. Thread the hardware onto the thread. I don't stop at the top because of my thick ankles. Wear a Naga Juban. Put your foot in and pull the dough toward you smoothly. Pass one hand through each sleeve. Gently pull the back to open the collar by about one fistful. Right collar down. Layer the left collar on top and cross it over. Stabilize the Naga Juban with a Koshi Haimo. Drape the Koshi Haimo twice and cross it over. Store excess Koshi Haimo. Tie the Date Jime under the chest. Date Jime plays a role in stabilizing the collar. Wear a kimono. Fasten the button attached to the center of the collar. In some cases, it may be a thread. Put your foot in and pull the dough toward you smoothly. Thread your arms through the sleeves of the kimono. The point is to put your arm through the Naga Juban while holding the sleeve of the it. Grab the collar and lift the kimono upward. At this point, raise the kimono up as if you were peeling it off your hips. Adjust the upper front to your body width and check it. Next, the lower fronts are lined and lifted up a few centimeters at the end. Again, align the upper fronts and hold firmly with the right hand. Stabilize the kimono with a Koshi Haimo. The overlapping area around the waist is called Ohasuri.
you mustn't do the other way around. Because that is the way a dead person is dressed in a coffin. A co Rindberuto stabilizes the collar, snap it on from the left inside. Next, fasten the right side. Tie the dot agime under the chest. It is used to stabilize the collar alignment and straighten the bottom of the ohasuri. Attach the obi ida. It serves to keep the obi taut and wrinkle free. Tie an obi. Bend it in half and place it on your shoulder, call it tay. Wrap the obi around twice. Pulling to the side at the end of the roll keeps the belt from loosening. Put the tay down toward the back. Pull the tay slightly to the right and then to the left again. Push the top protruding fabric into the strip. Support it with the back of your left hand and raise the obi with the back of your right hand. String it up. Open the obi. String it up. Make the tare. It is about the length of one index finger. String it up. Put an obi age on an obi makura. Place it under the obi and lift up the obi.
Tie the obi makura string over the string twice. The obiage is tied easily as it is arranged at the end. Making an otaiko. Decide on the size of the odaiko and tie it with string. Remove all but the last string used. Put Tay in Otaiko. Place your right hand inside the otaiko and gently pull out the tay. The extra tay on the left side can be folded inward to make the obi look more neat. Obi decoration. Pass the obijime through the otaiko. Tie an obijime. Untie the strings. Tie an obi age. Fold three times. Tuck once into the obi. Fold the opposite side three times. Wrap the right side obiage around the left side obiage twice. Push it into the obi. Completion. Good job! Please keep practicing. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel and give it a high rating.